<laughs> We're gonna start with sunset. <laughs> Time. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Fatty Mansa here from Real Results Fitness and in the previous videos James and I have taken you through our weigh-ins, our struggles along the way and a day of eating. After we released our day of eating videos, James and I have both been getting a lot of requests about snacks that we could eat or get away with along the way while we're dieting. So that's what we're going to present to you in this video. We're going to start with some snacks that James likes to eat and then we'll go back and forth and uh, show you everything here. All right, so one of the things I typically eat at night when pretty much the day's over and I have almost pretty much all my calories in is the uh, Dane and Light Fit uh, Greek yogurt and the strawberry cheesecake flavor. It's delicious. You know, it only has 80 calories and 12 grams of protein with nine grams of carbs. It's just an excellent freaking snack that you can eat. And you know what? All your snacks, you should probably drink with water so it can just fill you up even more. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good idea. Something that can complement that real well is actually some rice cakes. These particular rice cakes, they're a little bit smaller than normal, but per one rice cake is only four grams of carbs. So comparatively, if you're eating like a regular rice cake, it's anywhere from 10 to, I want to say, 15 grams of carbs. Uh, you could have a few of these before you have one of those and uh, get a lot more volume in so you can stay fuller longer. Dang, I don't even know that. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Make your kids. <laughs> but, and, uh, another one for me is uh, I'm a big Reese's peanut butter and chocolate guy. To get that in, I got this peanut butter crave cookie nookie. Uh, peanut butter. The calories on this is actually pretty low compared to regular peanut butter. And regular peanut butter is about eh, two tablespoons, about like 250 in cows. And this only has 180. And the fat is at 14 grams. And uh, usually peanut butter is at about like 20 or above, maybe yeah. eight, 18 and above. Yeah. Well, especially for those uh, mm -hmm. those style like uh, cinnamon flavor and all these oh yeah spectacular flavors yeah, that they got out now. This thing's delicious. Like, I haven't tried that. Yeah. Already. I mean, you know, with complement that with, with the bread. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, low cow bread. Okay, so this bread right here, you could find this at your local grocery store. This Nature's Harvest bread is really low in carbs. Per two slices, it's 17 carbs. Compared to, uh, I don't know, just a regular loaf of bread, one slice can be up to 24 carbs just for one. For two slices in your regular loaf of bread, you could get about four and it equals the same calories. So again, more volume, guys. You know, when you're dieting, guys, it's it's a good idea to try and find these, these keys that we're giving you because this stuff is gonna help keep you fuller longer. And another uh, snack that I usually eat like when I'm on the go and I always have it on hand is a Quest Bar. It's just perfect. It's, only, it's less than 200 calories, has like, what, 21 grams of protein and 20 grams of carbs. That's excellent actually. Yeah, if you're really like just dying, hungry. you have no food, uh, a Diet Dr. Pepper or just pretty much any diet soda, it's good to go because I mean it has zero calories, so it's a quick little snack right yeah. there. You, you get your protein, yeah. and then you get something. It's gonna help keep you know the carbonation is gonna help kind of keep yeah. you full. Exactly. So kind of play a trick on your on your mind. Yeah, for real. Something that I like to go to a lot, especially depending on you know where your calories are at or how far you are in your diet, is just some salad. So this whole bag of salad is 16 carbs. All right, so you could. Do that, and since it's only 16 carbs, you can mix in some chicken, uh, you could even throw some dressing on there. Careful with the dressing, have a light hand. <laughs> but since you're making it yourself, you know what's going into it. Uh, so 16 carbs, this is gonna fill up a nice big and, bowl. Uh, for me, I'm a huge ice cream guy. I mean, it, that was like my vice right there. Like I would just want ice cream. I'd hit Ben and Jerry's like crazy, but I mean, what? Those have what about 1,200, 1,500 calories combined. <laughs> Easily, Easily. maybe more. I have right. I, for, I completely forgot. But these right here, the Halo Tops, my favorite. I mean, I'm a big chocolate guy. Check it out. These the uh, the lowest calorie one is the chocolate, 240 calories for that. And then you got the next, you know, Reese's peanut butter guy over here. You got um, the peanut butter with chocolate ice cream. It's at 320 calories. 
And then, you know, you got the filet mignon over here, the 360 calories of red velvet. It's freaking delicious. Oh, yeah. Amazing. And I have another hidden one. Hey. The, the birthday cake flavor. All these are delicious. Trust me. You most definitely got to try these. Since we're talking about ice cream, mm -hmm. we'll jump to this. So slow churn, guys. Look for those keywords right there. Slow churn or, uh, or low fat. And in this, you're going to get about same thing, three grams of fat, 20 carbs, and three protein, which is really good, guys. And they have, I want to say, almost every single flavor out there. So you got your moose tracks, you got your uh, chocolate chip, cookies and cream, everything. And it's going to help satisfy that sweet tooth. Again, guys, moderation is key. That's really good. Yeah. That's Just don't eat it all. Don't eat the whole major key of that. How much can you have? Like uh, a half all cup. of it. <laughs> like a, half, no, uh, a half cup or is that? Yeah, that's that's per half cup. Okay. So it's a little bit more calories, I want to say, than the, the Halo Tops, uh -huh. but it's less expensive because you're buying it in bulk and they have a lot more flavors. Uh -huh. If you have a sweet tooth and you can't control yourself, Go with these, yes. right? Because exactly. you could have one whole thing. That's exactly. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Just buy, just buy yourself one if you're you, you yeah. self control. Eat one of these, not one. Of these. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then one of my last go-to snacks is uh, these these little. I found these little gems, slim fast snacks. And uh, what they are? These are chips, and these are just some uh, what are they? Drizzled crisps, crisps, little rice cakes with uh, with some cinnamon sprinkled on them. Um, so each of these are about 20 uh, grams of carbs each. These are quick go-to snacks or or if I'm gonna have like a sandwich in between Something that's gonna be filling as well uh, Chips these chips actually pair up really well with these I almost forgot to show you guys these these are some street tacos So for taco Tuesdays, you don't have to miss out Three of these little tacos is 20 grams of carbs. So you throw some chicken in there um, some salsa and you got some low calorie tacos and get your diet coke get your chips there you go you got a full meal you guys all enjoyed this because our ice cream is melting now <laughs> so uh we hope you guys got some great ideas uh on snacks to eat and stuff you could enjoy while dieting again remember guys calories in calories out moderation is key if you guys have any questions about the snacks just let us know and we will answer them right down the comments stay tuned for the next videos where we show you guys how we train. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.